Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is part two in a series of videos about using this material to 3D print this that can fly like this. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And check out our website for this model and others, as well as printing configurations for different materials. This is the pica I'm building with the foaming lightweight PLA. It is a simple three servo build and will have a two piece wing and a removable tail easy to pack. In part one we printed all the parts and gathered all the pieces so now I'm ready for assembly. So let's start with the fuselage. Cut all the carbon to length, strips and rods, threaded hardware, printed foam parts, and the radio tray from PETG. I did this to take the weight of everything, hold the servo, and offset the need for some of the balance weight. Test fit all of these parts so they go together like the diagram in the instructions. Sand and file as necessary to make sure all the carbon fits where it should. Use sandpaper to clean up the cut ends of the carbon. And we'll be using these files on the carbon channels. In this build, the tail fins will be removable, but we still want to check the fit of everything before adding glue. The carbon should go all the way through the tailpiece. File the channel if necessary. Once you're happy with the fit of the tail, remove the fins. The carbon should stick out about 16 millimeters. Glue the carbon in place, a couple drops on each one. The glue will wick down the length. Set these aside and let them dry. Now we're going to get the wing saddle ready and install the T-nuts. Now's the time to use your tap and add the threads if you haven't done so already. Much harder to do once it's in the plane. Then add all four of them. Next we're going to test fit the longer ons. Use a needle file to clean up any printing issues with the longer on channels. Put all the fuselage parts together. File and trim as necessary. Add the upper carbon supports. In case your fuselage parts don't fit together tightly, align everything and add a mark to help with assembly when you're gluing. These parts fit pretty tight and don't really need it, but I added it anyways. Remove the nose cone and the radio tray and separate the parts keeping them on the longer ons. This will give us access to the carbon channels for adding glue on both ends. Separate the mid fuse piece too. There should be about an inch or two between each section. Grab each longer on and make sure it's fully seated in the tail. Drip glue down each carbon longer on into the tail. Couple of drops each side. This will anchor the longer ons. Slide the mid fuse a little closer to the tail, but avoid the area on the longer on you drip glue on. Add glue all the way around the overlap, then push the parts together. The seam gap should be the same all the way around. 
Flip the fuse over so you can see the rear side of the wing saddle. Now drip glue only on the top carbon supports of the wing saddle. This is the last time you'll have access to this side. Flip the fuse again and drip glue down each carbon long run into the mid fuse part. Slide the wing saddle a little closer, but avoid the area on the longer run you drip glue on. Add glue to the overlap. And push the parts together. Check to make sure the seam is seated all the way around. Make sure the threaded plastic T-nuts are fully seated. Add a couple drips of glue on each. Drip glue on the front side of the top carbon supports and the carbon long runs in the wing saddle. This was too tall to get in the camera view. Install the radio tray on the carbon long runs. The radio tray rear should line up with the front wing saddle overlap length. and the nose cone should easily fit over it. When you are happy with the radio tray's location, glue it in place. Glue on the carbon. And glue on the bottom. Set aside and let dry, and switch to the wing. Here are all the printed parts in carbon for the wing. Reference the diagram in the instructions for where everything goes. Cut the aileron support carbon to length, and I mark the center of the round and strip wing spar. Check each of the wing panel's three carbon channels. File as necessary. You can also run the carbon back and forth to clear out the channels. Use the round file on the main spar. This should be a slip fit. All of the wing panels should fit nicely together without any gaps. This being a two-piece wing, Going to build one side at a time, this is the left. Cut the 1x4 strip spar in half. Leave the 6mm round main spar full length. And I'm going to make the aileron and install the servo after gluing. Assemble the center, root, and mid wing panels on the carbon. With the flat spar flush with the center panel, mark the length of the flat spar that is sticking out. This is the depth to glue it to the tip panel. Add the aileron carbon to the wing tip. Assemble the tip onto the other wing panels. You may need to disassemble a little bit to get this to go together. With the tip spaced an inch or two away, Set the mark on the flat spar just below depth on the tip. And check the aileron carbon is not past the end of the aileron. Stand the wing half up on its tip and add a couple drops of glue on the front flat carbon and a couple drops on the aileron carbon only, not the round one. Slide the mid wing panel onto the tip and make sure it's flush. Add a clip to hold the trailing edge. Spin the round spar a couple of times to make sure it is still loose. If it is at all sticky like glue is on it, pull it out immediately and wait for the glue to dry. If it spins like it did before, keep on going. Same process for the mid panel. Drip glue only on the flat carbon. And don't get any glue near the round spar and push the panels together so they're fully seated, no gap. Add a trailing edge clip if you want. 
Drip glue into the front flat carbon on the root panel at this point. Unfortunately, I don't have video of this because it was out of frame. Check the round carbon is loose and align the center panel. This is easiest for me standing on in, or in this case, the tip, so I can compress the center panel against the root panel while gluing it, only adding glue to the front carbon, although you can tack the rear in place too. Keep away from the round spar. Add a drop of glue on the seam near the leading edge of each of the seams between the panels. Then squeeze the tip to the root to close up any gaps in the leading edge. Do the same thing just in front of the hinge line on all the panels. Just a little dab of glue on each seam and then squeeze together. Remove the round spar. Then go back and add glue to every seam all the way down on the top, on the ailerons, and on the bottom. This is where you need to watch out that you don't glue the plane to your finger. I've done it more than once. Wipe off any excess with some paper towel, top and bottom, and then remove the clips. Then stand on in to let dry. The other half builds the same way to make a complete wing. Now we have a complete airframe, V-tail and wing, ready for control surfaces and radio gear. But that will be in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Happy gluing.